Let's play the chain game for the RPG Maker 2000. Something is excellent. And luck as Alex senses are tingling. What? You again? What are you doing here? I asked first. Fine. We need an air airship on the roof to get away from here and find my friends. Those other idiots, am I correct? Well, that would be an act against the world itself. So prepare to die! But that's not good. A locker picks a fight, and once again, there's nothing there. Let's just scallop at him and paralyze him if possible. Okay. <laughs> may have just won this without actually doing anything then. No, let's not bother. So I'm now in Berserk and continually attack. And the thing there doesn't actually attack us back now. does more damage, so we might as well finish this off as fast as possible. Actually. Okay, 300 experience points. Go to level 7 and level 7. Ah, I think I'm having a heart attack! Alright! Now let's grab the ocean and get out of here. Yeah! Slightly upbeat music there. Off the air we go! Just as I expected, more spacious on the inside, just like any other RPG ship. Uh, all this RTD makes me feel sick. Get used to it. Oh, I'm feeling much better now. Quick, I want to show. Hey, cool it. Sorry. So what did you want to tell? <sighs> so what to tell me? What was this? Some other dude with whom you travelled to find some big shiny sword. Well, he had purple hair, blue robe, light grey pants, and blue and red string hanging from him. That guy? That's him too. Created in the middle of a little intelligent conversation with me and Foggy, threatening to destroy the world. You saw him? In the middle of a discussion between you and Foggy, he threatened to destroy the world. We must find him. He's over with my friend somewhere. We can't let evil win, but he could be anywhere. Maybe he's from that hangar. Off we go then. This is only the second time we've seen the world map, and I think it's the last, actually. Not that it has any particular use at this stage. Alright, here we are. Yep. And if I'm correct, we won't face any hostile forces in there. Alaka probably took most of them with him to the sandy desert. Plus, after we caught sneaking here, I think our allied scientists tried to free us and bomb bombardized all enemies down on the newfound firepower of OMG Ruffles. Looks like they have left. Why? Never mind that now, let's go in. No hostile forces, you say? Shut up! You're an Alex! Alex is in see-through disguises! Why didn't you tell me there were two R Final Fantasy VI ripped ninjas in the bushes? What? I didn't know they were there! I can't! I've never been able to see through disguise! Huh? What is it, Shadows? What have you caught for me? Oh, it's you two! Who you both a lot! I haven't yet paid you for your services! You! Tell me where you teleport my friends or my with your cursed sword! Jordan, I have a name too! That's this sword! I am Lord, and this, this is Excavator. With this sword, I have the power to undo creation. As you drain this sweet little planet of yours out of a life forge, 
life forge? Yes. Yes. The life forge. The power that keeps this universe alive. The power that the magicians use. The power I shall master. Of course, the planet without life forge you keep was the dead planet. So I recommend you choose the greatest prizes of your services. You two are not there to enjoy them for too long. Tell me you teleported my friends. So there's one who wants the prize to this town. Well, it's fine for me. I teleported them to a nice little village called the Harpus. And what do you wish, Alex the Stray? Please teleport us there! Will do, just wait. Nihai <laughs> Milbeth! Damn, we should have just asked him to teleport the airship too! <sighs> this looks a lot like Port Town! So here we are, without an airship! Yeah. All seeing as Bahamas is a port town, we should be able to get a ride to home. Now I have to find my friends. Hopefully they haven't left. Let's go into this in slash pub. There we are. So we what to do are... We gotta go and find Jordan! He was our guide! Without him all this... We are a lot lost without him! Indeed. Where should he be? How about behind you? Jordan! What? Is it Jordan? Damn it, Katsu, out of the way! I want to see! Oh, Misa, sorry. Jordan, how'd you do it? We weren't teleported to our location. Well, getting me here involved lots of Alex slaying, average RPG storyline cliches, recreation of the world, facing with evil. Uh, yeah, right, so am I telling us what exactly happened? Jordan told his story. And now we got to the stray Alex. Everybody, meet Alex! Hiya! This one of the Alex's evil we are tra Pete trying? No, can't say. This one's a good guy. He helped me to slay that bully who pitched us into the pit. Really? The old arrow spell probably beat him. What arrow spell? I don't know. Alright, everybody. Tomorrow we're going to take the ship to Fromage. Maybe our scientist friends have returned there. Now, yeah, let's go to sleep. Huh? Who goes to sleep this early? I don't know, but let's just go. Jordan, it's me, Cheese. Screw this, I'm not Cheese, I'm Lord. No, not the evil one, I'm the one who made this part of a chain game. Since chain game currently has an awful lot of characters, you should have some way to choose which of them to use. Plus, I can't you? The party changing machine! One, 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 one. Use it to access party changing menu. You can use... Yeah, you can with an uber... User friendly interface, change your party members. Yada, yada, yada. Okay, so let's use it now then. And we shall take... Katsu, and Ticket. Uh, yep, that does. So then we use the item changer again, and get out. Okay. Yeah, there is an item store there, we don't care too much about it. The church there, we don't care too much about either. And let's go. Or maybe not. Hmm. Oh, maybe I have to go to sleep. No well. And we bought it. Yeah, I'm feeling pretty generous today. You can all sleep for free! We've been robbed! Yeah, we'll save. Right, now let's go. Or at least try to work out where I'm supposed to go, anyway. Aha! It's the pirate dude! Or the one I get anyway. What? You! How did you get here? Well, since that pirate ship exploded, I floated here and opened a new business. The villagers are so nice. They gave me money for a start and a ship to sail. <sighs> Just get us the fromage. Hi, sir.
and thus, we went to Fromage. Dum de doo. On to your rave! Huzzah! Cheesy memories, chapter 12. Possibly 13. And now, the moment you've all been waiting for! Erase part! You also get random battles eliminated! And hero speed increased! Now, with that out of the way, let's begin, shall we? Omelette de fromage! Uh, we're finally there! Save! Here we are! We got here as fast as a race car! Shit, I didn't think you noticed, but that rhymed as well! Damn, the rave is good! Do not move, you're under arrest! Carolyn, there? You're under arrest and married a faggot! You cannot escape, Jordan! Faggot dead, is he? Yes, our god! And our lord Faggot was murdered! Faggot? Is this true? Man was sword! His name was Lord, told us you were the killer! He was quite a thriller! Stop making rhymes, Mayor, it isn't fair! For as you can see, it wasn't me who killed Foggit and, um... Silence! Capture them! Don't touch me there! <coughs> Ow! That was really high-pitched. You're finally out of bed! Yay! Huh? Where am I? We're in prison. No, sir. Probably no way to get out. There has to be a way out. <coughs> Can I get the door to open? It's no use. We already tried. But you're Alex! You're a hero! Can't you just be all heroic and get us out of here? Uh, I guess it's time I told you the truth. Huh? I'm not really an Alex. Shock. Alright, time's up. Alex's story will be next time. <laughs>